Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you a utility trailer that I turned into a travel trailer. I ordered it brand new, had it insulated, had them put a vent in the top, I had them put a couple of dome lights with a switch on it, and uh, electric brakes, drop down jacks in the back. And then I'm going to show you what additional things I did to turn it into a travel trailer. Um, it's just pictures, but I'll talk you through it. Uh, it's not going to get into a lot of detail, but you'll kind of get an idea of what I did. So if you're uh, mechanically inclined at all or um, have kind of a knack for common sense, it's not hard to do. And so hang tight and we'll get started. So here's my Continental Cargo 12 foot by 6 foot trailer. And I had them put a window and it opens and I put one on each side as well as the RV door. And here's the other side here. And you can also see a vent up there. That was st standard on them. And then I painted the inside and laid down vinyl flooring. Um, it, the ceiling and the walls and stuff were just bare wood because I had them insulated. And so I covered that. And then, and like I said, I put down the vinyl. I have the RV, um, excuse me, the barn doors on the back and also the drop down jacks for stability once I parked. And then I started uh, building the inside. I built the framework for my cabinet up front. Um, the extra space in the front is not considered part of the 12 foot, so that's extra space. So I built that counter up front and put uh, a self-closing drawer in it and also have the cupboard doors on each side and you can see the shelves in there. And underneath the um, drawer is a 12 volt 110 refrigerator. And on the left side of the cabinet underneath, I do have my charging system, tells me what my amp draw is and stuff like that. And then I build a framework and this is all modular. You can see where the boards just kind of slide down in. And you saw that last picture, I had a porta potty place for my spare tire. On the front here, I put a uh, deep cycle battery and then you can also see the 110 plug-in that I put in there so that's all tied in with the charging system here's underneath the bed you see the porta potty there and then the um, side door you can see the step I put a drop down step there and then here's a picture from the back of the vehicle and here you can see where uh, the back doors are opened up where it's easy access to the generator and the gas can and whatever Here's a picture of the trailer sitting after it's done. Here's actually a picture of us getting ready to eat one of our dinners and it's got a little table and we have a couple chairs. And here's us connected up while we're on our eight week trip. Well, I hope that was some good information for you. And in the description, I'll put links to the 100 amp deep cycle battery, the battery box, the 110 volt power, uh, park power receptacle, uh, the drop down step, the voltage meter, and also the uh, AC to DC charger. And that way it'll be easy for you to be able to find those items. But if you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave uh, comments and I'll answer those to the best of my ability. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.